Tu Yu Yu Chinese, Tu Yu Yu Pinyin, Tu Yu Yu, born 30 December 1930 is a Chinese pharmaceutical chemist and educator. She discovered artemisinin also known as Qinghaozu and dihydroartemisinin, used to treat malaria, a significant breakthrough in 20th century tropical medicine, saving millions of lives in developing countries in South Asia, Africa, and South America. For her work, Tu received the 2011 Lasker Award in Clinical Medicine and the 2015 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine jointly with William C. Campbell and Satoshi Omura. Tu is the first Chinese Nobel laureate in Physiology or Medicine and the first female citizen of the People's Republic of China to receive a Nobel Prize in any category, as well as the first Chinese person to receive the Lasker Award. Tu Yuyu was born and educated and carried out research exclusively in China. Early life Tu was born in Ningbo, Zhejiang, China, on 30 December 1930. My first name, Yu Yu, was given by my father, who adapted it from the sentence, Yu Yu Lu Ming Shi Yi Ji Hao translated as Deer Bleat Yu Yu while they are eating the wild Hao in the Chinese Book of Odes. How this links my whole life with King Hao will probably remain an interesting coincidence forever. She attended Shaoxi Middle School for junior high school and the first year of high school, before transferring to Ningbo Middle School in 1948. A tuberculosis infection interrupted her high school education, but inspired her to go into medical research. From 1951 to 1955, she attended Peking University Medical School, Beijing Medical College. In 1955, Yu Yu Tu graduated from Beijing Medical University School of Pharmacy and continued her research on Chinese herbal medicine in the China Academy of Chinese Medical Sciences. Tu studied at the Department of Pharmaceutical Sciences, and graduated in 1955. Later Tu was trained for two and a half years in traditional Chinese medicine. After graduation, Tu worked at the Academy of Traditional Chinese Medicine now the China Academy of Traditional Chinese Medical Sciences in Beijing. Tu and her husband, Li Tingchao, Li Tingzhao a metallurgical engineer, live in Beijing. Li Tingzhao was Tu's classmate at Shaoxi Middle School. Their younger daughter lives in Beijing, whilst their older daughter lives with her husband and daughter in the United States, seen in a few pictures, Tu Yuyu's son-in-law and granddaughter. Tu's maternal grandfather, Yao Yangbei, Yao Yangbei was the first director of National Treasury Administration after its reform. Her uncle, Yao Qingzhen, Yao Qing San was an eminent economist, banker, and the first Keynesian in China. <laughs> Research career Tu carried on her work in the 1960s and 70s during China's Cultural Revolution, when scientists were denigrated as one of the nine black categories in society according to Maoist theory or possibly that of the Gang of Four. Schistosomiasis During her early years, Tu studied Lobelia chinensis, a traditional Chinese medicine, for curing schistosomiasis, caused by trematodes which infect the urinary tract or the intestines, which was widespread in the first half of the 20th century in South China. Malaria In 1967, during the Vietnam War, Ho Chi Minh, the leader of North Vietnam, which was at war against South Vietnam and the United States, asked Chinese Premier Zhou Enlai for help in developing a malaria treatment for his soldiers trooping down the Ho Chi Minh Trail, where a majority came down with a form of malaria which is resistant to chloroquine. Because malaria was also a major cause of death in China's southern provinces including Hainan, Yunnan, Guangxi, and Guangdong, Zhou Enlai convinced Mao Zedong to set up a secret drug discovery project, named Project 523 after its starting date, 23 May 1967. In early 1969, Tu was appointed head of the Project 523 research group at her institute. Tu was initially sent to Hainan where she studied patients who had been infected with the disease. Scientists worldwide had screened over 240,000 compounds without success. In 1969, Tu, then 39 years old, had an idea of screening Chinese herbs. She first investigated the Chinese medical classics in history, visiting practitioners of traditional Chinese medicine all over the country on her own. 
She gathered her findings in a notebook called A Collection of Single Practical Prescriptions for Anti-Malaria. Her notebook summarized 640 prescriptions. By 1971, her team had screened over 2,000 traditional Chinese recipes and made 380 herbal extracts, from some 200 herbs, which were tested on mice. One compound was effective, sweet wormwood Artemisia annua, which was used for intermittent fevers, a hallmark of malaria. As two also presented at the project seminar, its preparation was described in a 1,600-year-old text, in a recipe titled, Emergency Prescriptions Kept Up One's Sleeve. At first, it was ineffective because they extracted it with traditional boiling water. Tu Yuyu discovered that a low-temperature extraction process could be used to isolate an effective antimalarial substance from the plant. Tu says she was influenced by a traditional Chinese herbal medicine source, the Handbook of Prescriptions for Emergency Treatments, written in 340 by Zhe Hong, which states that this herb should be steeped in cold water. This book contained the direction to immerse a handful of qinghao in the equivalent of two liters of water, wring out the juice and drink it all. After rereading the recipe, Tu realized the hot water had already damaged the active ingredient in the plant, therefore she proposed a method using low-temperature ether to extract the effective compound instead. The animal tests showed it was completely effective in mice and monkeys. In 1972, she and her colleagues obtained the pure substance and named it Qinghaozu, Qing Hao Su, or artemisinin as it is commonly called in the West, which has saved millions of lives, especially in the developing world. Tu also studied the chemical structure and pharmacology of artemisinin. Tu's group first determined the chemical structure of artemisinin. In 1973, Tu wanted to confirm the carbonyl group in the artemisinin molecule, therefore she accidentally synthesized dihydroartemisinin. Furthermore, Tu volunteered to be the first human subject. As head of this research group, I had the responsibility. She said. It was safe, so she conducted successful clinical trials with human patients. Her work was published anonymously in 1977. In 1981, she presented the findings relating to artemisinin at a meeting with the World Health Organization. For her work on malaria, she was awarded the Nobel Prize in Medicine on 5 October 2015. Later career She was promoted to a researcher, Yan Zhu Yuan the highest researcher rank in mainland China equivalent to the academic rank of a full professor in 1980 shortly after the Chinese economic reform began in 1978. In 2001 she was promoted to academic advisor for doctoral candidates. Currently she is the chief scientist in the academy. As of 2007, her office is in an old apartment building in Dongcheng District, Beijing. Before 2011, Tu Yuyu had been obscure for decades, and is described as almost completely forgotten by people. Tu is regarded as the professor of three no's, no postgraduate degree there was no postgraduate education then in China, no study or research experience abroad, and not a member of any Chinese national academies, i.e. Chinese Academy of Sciences and Chinese Academy of Engineering. Tu is now regarded as a representative figure of the first generation of Chinese medical workers since the establishment of the People's Republic of China in 1949. Topic awards 1978, National Science Congress Prize, PR. China 1979, National Inventors Prize, PR. China 1992, one of the 10 Science and Technology Achievements in China, State Science Commission, PR. China 1997, one of the 10 Great Public Health Achievements in New China, PR. China September 2011, GlaxoSmithKline Outstanding Achievement Award in Life Science September 2011, Lasker DeBakey Clinical Medical Research Award November 2011, Outstanding Contribution Award, China Academy of Chinese Medical Sciences February 2012, one of the 10 National Outstanding Females, PR. China June 2015, Warren Alpert Foundation Prize co-recipient October 2015, Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine 2015 co-recipient for her discoveries concerning a novel therapy against malaria, awarded one half of this prize, and William C. Campbell and Satoshi Omura jointly awarded another half for their discoveries concerning a novel therapy against infection with roundworm parasites. 
2016, Highest Science and Technology Award, China Topic See also Drug discovery Malaria, Quinine and Tropical Medicine Antimalarial medications resulted from Project 523 during and after the Cultural Revolution Artemisinin Major Contributors, 2UU et al., 1972 Dihydroartemisinin, 2UU et al., 1973 Pyronaridine, 1973 Artemether, Zhou Weishan, Zhou Weishan 1975 Lumafantrine, 1976 Artisanate, Li Guoqiao, Li Guochao 1977 Artemether, Lumafantrine, Zhou Yiking, 1985 Naphthoquinone, 1986 History of Science and Technology in the People's Republic of China First Artificial Synthesis of Crystallized Bovine Insulin Niu Jingyi et al., 1965 Discovery of using arsenic trioxide and tritinoin to treat leukemia. Zhang Tingdong, Wang Zhenyi, Chen Zhu, and Chen Saiwan. Dr. Tang Fifan, discoverer of Chlamydia trachomatis, was expected to receive a Nobel Prize but died from political persecution in Beijing. 1958 Dr. Wu Lin Teh, first Chinese nominated to receive a Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, nominated in 1935. List of Chinese Nobel laureates and list of female Nobel laureates, list of Chinese discoveries and list of Chinese inventions Chinese herbology and traditional Chinese medicine timeline of women in science topic notes topic references topic further reading Rao Y Zhang D Li R 2016 Tu Yu Yu and the discovery of Artemisinin 2015 Nobel laureate in physiology or medicine Singapore World Scientific Publishing Co ISBN 9787504669964 2, Y. 2017. From Artemisia Annua L to Artemisinins, The Discovery and Development of Artemisinins and Antimalarial Agents. Academic Press. ISBN 9780128116242. Tu Yu Yu and the Discovery of Media related to 2UU at Wikimedia Commons